it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the ultimate grunge effect in After Effects. Hope you guys liked the preview. If you guys don't know, my name is Pelle Sjöberg, that's how it's pronounced in Swedish. And I run the Editing Visuals channel with my friend Puikas and we're uploading tutorials on how to make different cool looking effects text designs, it can be wherever uh, they can use for your music videos, uh, your projects you're working on. And we also have a website where we have all of our editing packs, all of our knowledge that you can get with just one click basically. And if you guys want to check our website out, it's called editingvisuals.com. Now for the effect here, we're going to jump straight into After Effects. And here I've added the footage I'm going to be using for this effect here. And after I've added my footage, I'm going to make a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And for this grunge effect here, I'm going to start off by adding mosaic. Here I'm going to set the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks to 350. Just like that. Now you guys can see it's going to get a lot more pixelated, the whole footage here. Which will get a more grunge feeling to it. After that, I'm going to be adding noise. Set the amount of noise to 50%. Now it's really starting to, to look good here. After that, I like to have this laggy look here, so I'm going to be adding post rise time. Frame rate to 15. Now it's going to be laggy like this here. And after that, add echo. Change the echo operator to maximum. And then the decay to 0.5. Looks very, very good in my opinion. Now if you guys want to get that ultimate grunge effect, we're going to be making an adjustment layer here, Control alt y separate the uh, adjustment layer for each clip here, so Control shift d to clip it, Control shift d Control shift d and for the first clip here, I'm going to be adding an effect from my grunge pack, and the effect is called grunge effect 26, and we will get this look here, on the first clip looks absolutely amazing in my opinion and this is no plugins at all so you don't need any third-party plugins or anything just straight up after effects effects here and if you guys like this effect here i have a discount code for you guys it's going to be pelle if you use that code you will save five dollars of the grunge pack now for the next part here i'm going to be adding the grunge effect 34. this is probably one of my favorite effects here this is how it looks here very very cool in my opinion and it's very simple to use, just drag and drop, adjustment layer, clip, you get this look here, absolutely amazing. And for the next part here, I'm going to make it a little bit more unique, I would say. And I think you guys are going to like this look even more. So I'm going to be adding the grunge effect 32. And the effect is going to look something like this here, I think this already looks very very good. But I'm going to experiment a little bit, and I'm going to be changing the blending mode here to hue. It's going to look something like this here, you guys can see, you have this kind of color parts here looks very good after that press ctrl d on this layer here make it a normal adjustment layer again fully clean and then add the grunge effect 21 and this is how this is going to look here really really cool grunge effect here amazing for your music videos now for the last clip here add the grunge effect 4 it's going to give you this look here really really cool as well i think but I'm going to experiment a little bit more with this one. So change the blending mode here to overlay. Make another adjustment layer. And here I add a grunge effect 27. And this is how it's going to look. Absolutely amazing. Wow. And everything combined here. This is the look you will be getting here. Absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to spice it up a little bit more. You guys can select your clip layer here and I'm going to be using the Shake Sauce 2 plugin. So I'm going to open up Shake Sauce here. And then I'm just simply going to open up keyframed shakes. And then here you guys can see you have a lot of presets here you can use as shakes. I can choose to use the pump one. So if I double click on that one, I'm going to get this blue layer here. It's going to make a shake. Go to the next point. Select your clip layer, maybe use this quick one. Third, I'm going to use the vertical one. Fourth, zoom. And you guys can see the preview here. How it's going to look, the shake. 
And this is the final look you will be getting with the shake sauce added to the effects here. And and yeah, I'm just gonna let the result speak for itself. And uh, yeah, if you guys also like this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where we have amazing editing packs just like this one here. And don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram. And don't forget to join our Discord server. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.